hi dolls and gents um today i'm kind of bored i just want to come and show you guys how i clean my industrial piercing and take care of it um if i'm sounding dull just bear with me. how i take care of my industrial piercing this is just the same way you take care of any other piercings like facials and ears i guess yeah so um it's just a simple process everybody use but i just want to show you because people ask me um how do you take care of that um is it painful when you got it is it still painful how long does it take to heal and stuff like that so first of all the first question was is it painful mm, well i can say no everybody knows i'm scared of piercing but i actually got this um, I didn't even feel anything. Okay. I just felt like the first one entering like just a pin entering my um, Ear, but I never even felt the second one. I was like are you done and the guy was like yeah So all I'm just gonna say is it doesn't even hurt Okay for the first two days you're gonna feel weird like right there because this new is something new and everything and you forget touching your hair and stuff my cause you to be touching that side of the ear so um, maybe you might be hurting yourself a little bit but otherwise it's it's okay you get used to it and um, what else um, how long does it take to heal it depends on how well you take care of the piercing usually they say eight months but I can say within four five months you 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 can change your um, earrings you cannot change earrings from the like two weeks the first two weeks or a month you have to really wait for the um, piercing to just get healed before you can change it, um, the earrings but if you take good care of it within four or five months you're good you can change it so and um, what else I think that's all for now but let me just go straight to the point and show you guys how I take care of my piercing this an industrial piercing it just goes through one of the ears and comes out all on the other side so um it's just one earring like a stroke the products i usually use in taking care of this ear is either the antimicrobial soap which looks like this i got this in the piercing um shop uh, or either a sea salt I also got it, this in the, the piercing shop, but you can also get it in the grocery stores and stuff like that. Don't go buy Ayurveda salts, uh, any other salts and stuff like that. This is the real thing to use, sea salt, pure sea salt, because it can actually, the Ayurveda and the other kind of salts have some chemicals in it, which is not going to help your piercing. It's rather going to make it worse. It's not going to heal it. So, yeah. Um, sea salt is the one I recommend for you and the antimicrobial soap and I actually use cotton swabs sorry um, cotton balls or cotton swabs yeah so um, it depends on however you want to do it but how I do it is you, um, with the sea salt I take about one quarter of which is like like I take my teaspoon and um, measure like one quarter of the salt but my sea salt came with a spoon like one little spoon that two of that spoon makes like a quarter of a teaspoon I just take two like this and pour it in a disposable cup any disposable cup like two of those so yeah then when I'm done, I just make sure I get like a warm water and fill this cup to like 8 ounces. Usually like a, a, a full cup, but this cup is too big for 8 ounces. So like I do like half way. So I just make sure I get like warm water, not cold water, warm water. So I'm going to get my warm water. And before I start everything, I sanitize my hands. You have to sanitize your hands or wash your hands first. If you don't have a sanitizer, wash your hands first because this is like 
a baby to you, you have to take care of it. Any little thing can cause it to get infected and stuff like that. So you don't have to get your fingers like you touch things day in day out. So you have to wash your hands first or either um, or sanitize your hands before you touch that piercing. So my warm water is ready. I'm gonna get like half of the cup, which I just did, and get my cotton. Uh, Sorry, cotton ball. I have this small towel. I just place it on the side where the ear is pierced. So like this, you make sure you have a towel because you are dealing with water. It's gonna pour on you or your. Or you can do it when you are going to shower. But for the first two weeks, one month, you have to be doing like twice, three times a day. So anytime you get a chance, you have to do it just to make sure this the ear is just um, gonna heal faster and stuff like that. But otherwise, you can do it like once a day or like in two days, you just do it once. So I just dump my cotton ball in the sea salt water after I've washed my hands and everything. And the water has to be warm, as I told you earlier. So all I do is I just, I don't squeeze the water out. You don't have to squeeze the water out. I hold back my hair. You just come close to the ear, like one side of the ear, and make sure you press it down. Like not pressing it to push the earrings, but just pressing it for the, um, the water to enter the ear like where it's actually pierced so you just press it down for some few minutes when you feel the cotton is getting um cold you go back and dip it inside the water again you keep doing this for about five minutes i recommend five minutes so you do one side and do the other side like the same way just keep pressing Pressing it so that the water will just enter the hole. Don't push the earrings. If you push the earrings, keep touching it. Like it's not healed, it's going to get angry at you. <laughs> it's just going to come out with some, some bumps right around the piercing area. So you just don't need to be pushing it. You just have to leave it. But just um, be treating it with your either the sea salt or the antimicrobial soap so I do that side a little bit now I'm here oops yeah so just like that you keep pressing it if you feel the cotton is cold you go back because it's the warm water that helps and the um, salts that helps um, the wound to heal so it just literally enter the hole and it just um, seals the place a little bit like little by little as you do it when I'm done I just try and clean my ears when it's healed you can just do any other thing with it you can just um, change earrings push it pull it up and down and you're good with the antimicrobial soap that I told you about also make sure you wash your hands I don't really use this a lot I use it sometimes, but well, maybe when I'm going to take my shower, I just do it. But um, this is what I do. I just wash my hands a little bit, make sure I still have like low water in, in between my fingers and just pour a little bit like this. Just a little bit. Then just move my fingers to like get like um, a foamy substance in my between my fingers and when I get that, I just rub it around the ears where the knobs are, like right here and there. You just rub it there, rub it here, and you can leave it on for like five minutes. Then you wash it out. Wash it out. You can use warm water to do it and the cotton ball to just to wash it out, and you're good. It's just a simple process I do every day to take care of it, and yeah, it's not painful. I know people will be wondering, it's not painful. So yeah, I love my piercing. With the cotton swabs, you can use the antimicrobial soap with the cotton swabs. 
um, you try and get like a foamy substance and just put it right there, put it inward and come out. Do not push the earrings, just make sure you just get it around the balls and around the balls outside and inside. Then you just wash it after five minutes too. So, but I usually use the cutting balls than the um, swabs. So then, this is just a simple process I go through when I'm taking care of my industrial piercing. And I hope you guys liked it. And I know it's going to benefit some people out there. Thanks for watching.